This Bloody Queen accessory is one of the worst accessories in Identity 5. Let me explain. We all love to customize our characters with cool accessories that show off our style and personality, but some of them are so lame, so boring, or so invisible that you might as well not have them at all. I've made a list of the worst offenders in each category. The first category is the accessories that have such weak effects that you can barely see them. The worst one in this category is the Kaleidoscope for Wildling. This accessory is supposed to add some Aurora effects to Wildling's dash, but they are so faint that I couldn't find a single video of anyone even using it. Another accessory that falls into the same category is the Patience Mask of Indulgence. This accessory is no longer available, but I bought it when it was and I regret it. I've played a ton of Patient and never noticed any difference with this accessory. Another similar accessory is the Forbidden Key for Evil Reptilian. This is probably the most visible offenders in this category, but still the effects are barely even enough upgrade from his base tier effects. The second category is the set of accessories that have different and unique effects but barely ever happen or are a little underwhelming. The first one in this category is the Titan Windmill for Postman. This accessory was free and sometime returns but it's not very impressive. It creates a small orange man that flies around you when your letter cooldown is about to end. That's pretty much all that it does. Another one in this category is the Pirate Flag for Gardener. Admittedly, this accessory is quite an old one and it hasn't really returned since its release, but it's not very exciting either. All it does is put a pirate flag on top of a broken chair that Gardner just broke. The third category is the accessories that have unique effects, but they are hard to see unless you're looking for them very, very closely. The worst one in this category is definitely the jammed gear for Gamekeeper. This accessory is limited and probably won't return as it came out in one of the Koas, but it's not a big loss that we're not getting it back again. What it does is it changes his chain and slam effects to have some sparks and explosions, but these effects look like they should have been part of his default skin instead of being in an accessory anyway. Lawyer has two bad accessories as well in this category. The first one is Fast as the Wind and the second one is Pirate Compass. The first one gives him some musical notes whenever he vaults a window and the second one makes a small compass appear when he checks his map. Neither of the effects are very impressive and and only happen occasionally and maybe only you will ever notice them. I mentioned a bad BQ accessory at the beginning of this video and even though it isn't the worst of the worst on this list, it definitely deserved to be here. The accessory is one with the tides. What it does is it adds a dolphin that swims around her aqua mirror and uh, that's really all it does and it's pretty hard to notice even if you're standing right next to it. The fourth category is the set of Aether accessories with no effects at all. All. Mask is one of these accessories, but nobody really has that outside of Korea, as this was a pre-registration gift for Korean players. But it does absolutely nothing. The other two accessories in this category are Eye Pipe and Detective Pipe. These can be equipped to all hunters and all survivors respectively, but they don't give any special effects to these characters. All they have is some minor animations on the item itself, puffing out red and blue smoke respectively. They are kind of cool, what do you think? Knowing which accessories to buy definitely helps, but what if you don't have enough fragments to get what you want? Check out this video here where I give you the best strategies to grind IDV currencies.